What's going on, folks? So, uh, hard to believe we're here already, but it is time for DuneFest 2024 and uh, getting everything loaded up for that. So, I've uh, been working on a lot of projects on the camper videos on that. Um, we're gonna be releasing here and there. But right now, I gotta get this machine and this machine uh, loaded up onto the trailer and strapped down for heading north. So, I should add, I haven't started this machine since the rally about six months ago, so we'll see how she does. All right, so the second Odyssey um, actually doesn't have any shifter cables on it. And um, long story, I needed them during the rally and I put it on my good machine. Um, I have cables I'm gonna be bringing so that I can put them on. I didn't fast, I'm not gonna do it right now. I just need to get it loaded. Unfortunately, that means I gotta push this thing all the way over, which kind of sucks. It is what it is though. So, we'll, uh, we'll get going on it. All right, what's going on folks? So uh, today is the official start of my trip up to DuneFest. So it's the Sunday, DuneFest starts on Tuesday. Uh, I'm stopping today. I'm actually at Travis Air Force Base. Uh, I actually parked the rig here, back here. Uh, here temporarily while my family and I, we were up in Tahoe having a good vacation and everything. So uh, now I'm departing here, headed up to uh, Reading tonight, stay with uh, my sisters and then headed up towards uh, DuneFest. So pretty excited to get this trip running. I'm bringing uh, two Odysseys. This is my, my regular, as you guys have seen all the time. And then here's uh, a new one. Well, I've had it for a while now, but this is kind of technically the only second trip. I got to do some work on this in order to actually play with it. I'm not sure if I'll actually play with it in the dunes much at all, but um, I'm just bringing it so I got some extra parts if I need them and uh, hopefully we'll get it running for at least a little bit to see kind of how it's going and everything. So uh, with that, I got about two and a half, maybe three hours of driving to get done before my first stop tonight. And uh, then tomorrow, by the end of the day, we should be on the sand. So with that, I'm going to get rolling. I'll see you guys later. All right, here are my uh, first uh, fuel stop. Truck's just about breathing on fumes. Stopping at the Calusa Casino, a resort in California. Uh, I lucked out, I took a gamble. I thought it'd be a lot more, uh, uh, well, I was really low on fuel. I don't know if I make it here, but uh, diesel here, $4 a gallon, which is a pretty good steal. Travis Air Force Base, it was like $4.79. So glad I waited. Let's get the sucker filled and let's get back on the road. All right, morning folks. So it's uh, Monday. This is uh, technically the day before DuneFest actually starts. Um, I'm in Redding, California in um, about 6.20 a.m. Getting ready to uh, head up north. Uh, Going to go up past uh, Lake Shasta and up through uh, Mount Shasta, which is a beautiful area. And then cross over in Oregon from there. So uh, looking forward to it. hope to get on the sand by uh, around 2 o'clock, meet up uh, someone else, which uh, uh, been talking with over phone and uh, texting so um, hopefully we'll have a great time together and uh, yeah tomorrow we'll get uh, started with Doom Fest. No Alright so uh, in Oregon here getting some uh, fuel at the Seven Feathers Casino and uh, I actually got fuel here last year it's actually a good stop. Got really good prices on diesel. I think it's like three twenty nine a gallon versus uh, I paid four dollars at the casino in uh, California, which is actually a good deal. Most diesel in California is like five fifty to yeah, about five fifty a gallon right now. So, anyways, I'm gonna get this sucker filled up and uh, get back on the road. Should be at uh, DuneFest in about uh, an hour and a half, maybe two hours tops. All right, so just made it to uh, Winchester Bay here. And uh, I'm gonna roll in on the sand. Usually, I got my buddy Andy uh, with me, Hi, with us. Us. Uh, helping me uh, air down the tires and uh, kind of scouting out a route and everything. And uh, unfortunately, this year he wasn't able to make it. So, I'm gonna be doing this uh, all by myself um, for the first time. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, air down some of the tires so that I can save time. So, kind of fiddled with it a little bit, but uh, I ended up going with. Uh, 10 in the rears because uh, that way you don't have to mess with them. It's lower than I usually go, but lower is better and you can see it's really not 
it's not impacting the tires or anything. There's just not a lot of weight on the trailer. And then uh, I did 15 on the inside dualies. Oh, almost forgot. On the truck, I actually have an onboard air compressor. So that's how I was filling this up. So compressors underneath there, underneath the rear passenger door. And uh, of course I got the line. And then I use this uh, handy tire inflator, which you saw me already use a couple of times. Uh, this just makes things way easier just to just dial it in and walk away. So I'm pretty happy with that setup. Anyways, now I'm out. All right, so we got the green light to go in. So everything's there down. We're gonna roll right in. We'll see how this goes. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Easy peasy. Hope that the uh, sand was really wet, like extremely wet. I think we'll take it. All right, we're all settled in. Got the camper mostly leveled out for the most part. So I think we're good there. Gonna walk around, see if we can see uh, some people getting stuck. This sand is really, really hard. So I'm sure uh, later in this week when it dries out, more people are gonna get stuck. But if, if you get stuck uh, on this stuff right now, you're probably uh, just not doing it right. So we got a guy digging a pad up there he's gonna have a whole compound so the dozers are part of the event they'll they'll pull you around apparently dig you a pad last year that was kind of all open he's gonna go up there it'll a lot of people kind of ride around up there so I guess he's gonna be surrounded by that but whatever got some people going over there got some rigs over here so a lot of these guys, they come in with these big fancy trucks that are all lifted and they got these big skinny tires and uh, they don't do the sand work squat. Like this guy right here, that's what he's got. If this sand was, was dry, he'd, he'd be stuck. You can see those that style of tires. It's kind of curious he's actually going right there. Let's, or maybe he's turning around. This entire area here is just crazy busy. I like being over in this corner here. We'll still get traffic, but it won't be nearly as much. They'll come around kind of the, the front there, which is a little bit of annoyance, but you know, we can deal with that. Uh, but most of the people that are coming here, they're generally like camping kind of in this area. Most of the people that are coming from, or driving along here are camping in this area so yeah looks pretty good you find it so I'm thinking uh, there's, there's two options here you can pull up on this side of me so if if you do anything make sure you're pointed that way whatever you do oh yeah This guy in the tractor, he's still digging. I think he might be making it for this this pickup truck with the camper because he wouldn't park there. So I think he's going to get his little empire way up on top. It's pretty interesting. Got people coming in. 
Let's see if he does it. All right, he's gonna run at it. He's gonna run at it. Let's see how far up he makes it. Oh yeah, he's, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he almost had it. Almost had it. I thought, I thought he would've got up there, but it dug in on him. Surprising number of uh, truck campers. So, so far there's one up there. Mine, of course. There's one behind those bushes. And then there's that one over there. There's actually more truck campers here than anything else at the moment. But I think people like truck campers for this sort of stuff because you get a better truck for doing this sort of stuff. They're gonna pull this guy. I remember this guy from last year. I don't know if he's in this area, but I remember that the really sweet looking Bronco. Really cool setup. Oh, here's a guy already getting stuck way over there in the corner. Again, he's got big old rims and a little skinny tires and there's there's nothing you can do about it. Morning. All right, they're just gonna pull them right on up. These bulldozer guys, you know, they're, they're really cool guys. They do this all day long. There'll be come, people coming in, heck, even Friday night. This entire area will be completely filled. And uh, they just run the dozer all day, pulling guys into their spots, digging them little sections. This guy got two things going on at once. This guy, I don't know, he looks like he's trying to unhitch his trailer, which is really stupid. Once you get the trailer unhitched, you ain't moving that trailer. It's easier to keep, keep the truck attached, let the dozer come and pull you. This is gonna get really sketch. There's quite a, there's quite a lean. I don't know, it's not what I would do. There he goes. They kind of get one shot at this. He dug out a pad. If he misses his pad, I'm sure they'll make it. But. Yeah, the guy that got stuck, he just, I guess he's just dropping right there. I'm not sure if they'll let him stay there. Got to see if the toy hauler comes in. Let's see if they pull in. Yeah, they're gonna pull in. Oh. All right, just to kind of wrap things up. So, so you saw the dozer and uh, they ended up bailing out down here and I went to talk to this guy, really nice guy. They're gonna try and get him back up there, but they separated the trailer from the truck. And uh, I don't know if he'll, he may try and drive up there right now. We'll see. He's already separated, but it was pretty sketch. It was pretty sketch the way that he was leaning and everything. It was pretty sketch. We'll see what he does here if he's gonna try and drive up that it's the thing about it is, is you start leaning I think uh, he's just kind of repositioning I think I think he's just gonna get pulled up yeah you got it man it's all you yep Wait, 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 no, 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 no. All right, so the uh, trailer's getting pulled up, separate, and then uh, they'll tow the, the car up. All right, he's going for it. If he gets the speed up, he'll be, uh, I don't, he's not going fast enough. He's not going fast enough. Yeah, if he can get over there, uh, he, he might be all right. He might be all right. He's gonna go way up. I think he's gonna turn around come right into it yeah he's good he's backing in holy cow oh sh between you and me no 
I would not do this. This is not what I would want to do. He is nuts. Holy cow. Oh, I hope he makes it. Oh, jeez. Well, shoot, why didn't you do that from the start? Yeah, you got it, man. Good job. I will smoke up and do anything until he grabs a hold of it. From, from up there to... Just slow it like he backed into this. Now we're, now we're singing. All right, so it's uh, day one. We, uh, we ended up going out for a ride. Took the 350 and uh, it was a monster. Like it was just doing everything I wanted to do. So definitely helped to uh, tune the pipe. Uh, we leaned it out at the Las Vegas rally and uh, now it's just running great. Um, I actually ended up uh, riding so hard that I ran out of gas on the way back and uh, I didn't have my reserve line on the tank, blah, blah, blah. But we gotta figure it out. One thing is if you are running uh, low on gas, you gotta watch your EGTs. Like I have an EGT gauge, so I was able to make sure I didn't lean out, but it was really, really close. I was able to get about three quarters of the way back. And then uh, uh, the guys that I'm with, they went out and got some fuel and brought it back. But overall, 350's dialed in, working really good. Uh, camper's doing good and all that sort of stuff. Things are still kind of filling up. You got. You got some people that are still coming in. They're uh, they're setting up the course up here. Uh, that'll be the side-by-side uh, -side track. I'd like to take the Odyssey on it, but I don't know. I don't know what class I put me in. I couldn't go against an Odyssey or side-by-side. Uh, -side. They'd just kill me. So we're getting ready to uh, do another ride about an hour or so from now. It'll be kind of like a late afternoon, early evening ride. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, just hoping the 350 holds up. So I do got the camera set up on the 350. I'm just doing a rear camera right now. Later on, I'll probably get the 360 camera out and do that sort of fun stuff. But I uh, just want to go have fun and uh, we'll, we'll get some content later. All right, catch you guys later.